So second part of the trig, this part is all about the graphing. Okay? So when we are graphing, So when we're graphing, we have a couple numbers that we need to notice. Notice that we have a number in front. Does anyone remember what that number in front is called? The amplitude. Remember that? That tells you how far up and how far down it goes from the midline. The midline, which number represents the midline? <coughs> that guy right there. So that one has a midline at negative 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at these graphs. And I'm going to highlight negative 2 and see if we can eliminate any of these as possibilities. So looking at these, does that line of negative 2 look like it's in the middle of my graph? Nope. How about this one? It's not even touching my graph, therefore it can't be that graph. That one looks pretty much in the middle. This one looks like it could be in the middle. It's just I don't see very much of that graph. It looks like it continues down, but it looks like I don't even see a full period. So let's keep those two in mind. The amplitude being one half means that I'm only ever going to go up one half from that midline. Does this one go up more than one half? Yes. Does this one seem to go up one half? Looks like it goes up one half and down one half. So my answer is going to be C there. Now, one other thing that I want to verify here, just to make sure that I have covered all my bases, is this number right here is how we find the period. Now, each one of these graphs, are they in radians or are they in degrees? Degrees, 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 right? So how do you find the period? You take 360 and you divide it by... B, which means the period for that graph would be 180. So I need to see, here's 180 degrees. Does it fit a full middle, top, middle, bottom, middle in 180 degrees? It does, so it fits that period as well. Okay? Remember our sine graphs are middle, top, middle, bottom, middle. What are our cosine graphs? <coughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, top, middle, bottom, middle, top. So here's a cosine one. It's got to start at the top, 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 top. Great, they're all tops. So let's see. Our midline is at what for number 45? Midline is at 1. one. So I'm going to go draw in the line of 1. Now this one, 2, is up there, so 1 is like right there. Those two both look like it could have a midline of 1, don't they? Does this one look like it has a midline of 1? That doesn't look like it's in the middle of the graph. It looks like it's at the top. How about this one? Does it look like it has a midline of 1? Nope. So we're down to A or B. Next thing I need to look at is amplitude. The amplitude is 2, which means that it's got to go up 2 and down 2. Now, this is counting by 2s. So going up 2 would be 1, 2. If it goes all the way up to 4, that's going more than 2, isn't it? Yes. How about this one? Is this one going up 2? That one looks like it's going up 2. So that one has the wrong amplitude. That would be our answer right there. We could also verify it by the period. Again, we're talking degrees in all these graphs. So 360 divided by B, which is 3, is 120. <coughs> And let's see, 360, 180, 120 looks like it's right about there. Top, middle, bottom, middle, top. 120 is probably actually right about there. That's 90. Um, looks like we're pretty good there. All right, next page. So, more graphs. What is my midline in this one? One. One. So, does this one have a midline of one? Sure looks like it. This graph actually makes me laugh. It's really funny right there. Really short period on that one. Um, how about this one? Does this look like it has a midline of 1? That doesn't look like it's in the middle, does it? It goes through it, but it's definitely not in the middle. So I would say a no on that guy. How about this one? Does it look like it has a midline of 1? 
I think it looks like it could. It goes one and a half, one and a half. That looks like it's got a midline of one. Does this one look like it has a midline of one? It's just bumping the top, isn't it? Top, top, top. So it can't be a midline of one. So we're down to these guys. What's my amplitude? Three. Amplitude is three. Is this one going up three? Is this one going up three? Yes. My answer is C. 47. What is my midline? Negative one. So I'm going to highlight it. Does that look like it is the mid middle of my graph? I would say no. How about this one? Does one look like it could be the middle? Could be. How about this one? Could one be the middle? Nope, it's not going through the middle of the graph. Could this one be one? Nope, my answer has to be C. I'm going to verify, yes, it does go up three and down three for my amplitude. Okay, questions there? Yes. Yes, I was doing that one wrong. Negative one is my midline. So let me go back here. Can't be B. So let's draw negative one again. I, went, I did it right here, didn't I? Did it right on A and then I got it off. Well, it's not A. This one, negative one, would not work. So we do not have B as our answer. This one, negative one, could work. And also this one, negative one, could work. Which one has an amplitude of three, though? One, two, three... This one looks like it has an amplitude of 2, so I'm going to say D is my answer. D is my revised answer. D is the correct one. Thank you for correcting me. So this one says, find the equation of the function shown. Notice that it starts on the y-axis at the top. Yes? That means I have a top, middle, bottom, middle, top. What does that tell me about my equation? It is cosine. So this one's cosine, that one's cosine, this is sine, that one's cosine. So I've eliminated C as a possibility. Now let's figure out where the midline would be. What looks like it's in the middle of, let's see, negative 1 and positive 3. I would say halfway is right here. Would you agree? And that is at 1. So which ones have... All right, so far we're good there. What is my amplitude? I go up 2 and I go down 2. That one has an amplitude of 2. This one has an amplitude of 2. This one does not. So I can eliminate it. So now I'm down to A and B. What is different between A and B? Period. You see that? So let's see. Top, middle, bottom, middle, top. This is the end of one period. And that's at 360 degrees. Which one has a period of 360 degrees? A. So A is my answer. So the next problem is very similar. However, at the y-axis, I'm not at the top, am I? I'm at the what? Bottom. So this one is going bottom, middle, top, middle, bottom. What kind of a graph is that? Cosine. It is just cosine with a negative in front of it. So, cosine with a negative. That one's sine, can't be it. Cosine with a negative, so that's a possibility. Cosine with a positive, so it can't be D. So I'm down to A or C at this point. Um, let's see, what's the difference between A and C? They both have the same amplitude, the same B value, the same uh, midline. What is it that's different? The amplitude. Can an amplitude be a negative number? No. So even though that first number is negative one half, that doesn't mean the amplitude is negative one half. The amplitude always is positive. So my answer has to be A. Okay. All right. I think this is the last one. So what have we got here? At the y-axis. 
Would you say that's top, middle, or bottom? Uh, middle. middle. So we have middle, bottom, middle, top, middle, right? What is that? Sign. sign. Is it positive sign or negative sign? Negative sign, because remember on the previous page, sign was middle, top, middle, bottom, middle. As soon as those bottoms and tops switches, it's negative sign. So it clearly can't be A, because A is cosine. Could it be B? Potentially, yes. Could it be C? Possibly. Could it be D? No, because that's sign, but it's positive. So looking at B and C, what is it that's different? Amplitude again. Can my amplitude be negative? No. So my answer is C. So basically, you really have to do all the work. You have to look right. At Always use your answers to your advantage when you're doing a multiple choice test. Always. It's one of the benefits of taking a multiple choice test. Okay? So that's the end of the trig. The next section is the statistics section.